Hello, my beautiful people. How are y'all doing today? Today is another gorgeous, beautiful day. As we see, the Palestinians are still going through a very hard time. And unfortunately, it just seems like the situation isn't getting any better for them. And there's not enough being done for Palestine. And I feel like Palestine right now is suffering. And it should not be this way. It really should not be this way. Palestine deserves more than this. It's just devastating seeing all these families and all this destruction happening. And I'm not sure where the end is to this. It's like we can't stop war and war doesn't go away. It's like people find that solutions come with war but unfortunately with war too many people and too much destruction happens where is it really worth it you know it's not it's not worth it it's not ever worth it we see too many times where in history this has happened and millions of people innocent people have died because of war. Do they deserve that? Does Palestine right now deserve that? In this world, if we're not able to change that as what's going on now, peace will never happen. We will never have peace in this world. It will be too difficult for anybody to have peace. This isn't right. And why is it that Palestine doesn't get enough? Why is it that Israel gets more than Palestine? When this is Palestine's land, this is Palestine's land. Israel stole it. They took it away. And that's not fair. Even after all of what is happening now, what is next? How can Palestine recover? How can those families recover? This is devastation. This is the worst thing that can happen to anybody. Just imagining how hard it will be for them to recover from this. It's gonna take them a long time. These people have to mourn with their families over all the innocent that have passed away. Brothers, sisters, moms, fathers, cousins, uncles, aunts, grandmas, grandpas, anybody. They will have to mourn with that sadness of their loved ones, over their lost homes, over their lost businesses. Right now, we got everything so easy to us. Everything we take sometimes for granted. And that's not right. Imagine if you lost as much as these Palestinians have lost, how would you be able to recover? Would you be able to recover? Because I promise you, you probably would not be able to recover. It would take you a long, long time. We need to help Palestine. We must help them. We cannot let Israel win over Palestine. 
We must not let anybody be able to conflict such evil over any other. Why does the world continue like this? You know, we learn about history because we want to know how to stop all of the things that have happened before World War One, World War Two, and the list goes on. You learn about World War One and World War Two. You can learn that a lot of people, a lot of destruction has happened. Is that okay? Is that right? Of course not. And that's why no one wants history to repeat itself. But when it repeats itself, who are to be blame? But those who don't know how to learn and change. That's the biggest problem. When people don't know how to change. When one person has too much power and that power they use over other people and we think the power that we get in this world is something but the power that we get is nothing. It's nothing if people have to suffer, people have to die from that power. True power comes when people are stronger and better. That's the people that have true power. In whatever way, we must pray for Palestine. We must pray for our brothers and our sisters. When I see those videos, those little kids, when they're crying, they're in pain. You could see it in their eyes. Seems like they have nothing more inside of them. It's like their soul has left them. They are so sad. Because they have lost either their mom, or father, or brother, or sister. The list goes on. And they're so sad. Imagine, now they have to grow and get older. And remember, when they were young, they had lost their loved ones because there was this country called Israel who had too much power and did not know how to use it. And when they did use their power, they used it for evil. And the cause of that was those poor, innocent people dying. Is this okay? Is this okay? We must help them though. We must help Palestine. Whatever way we can, whether it's donations, prayers, or protests, or posting on social media to bring awareness for Palestine, people must know the truth about Palestine because a lot of people seem not to know the truth about Palestine. Are we going to work together in this world to help those who need our help the most? Or are we going to look the other way and not help them? Because if we don't help them, more and more people will suffer from this. And trust me, the more that suffer, it is in our hands. We have it in our hands. Our own hands. We can save these people or we can let them die. We can let them suffer. What are we going to do? What are we going to do today or tomorrow? Do we care enough? Do we care enough for Palestine? I can't stand to see these innocent people lose their lives. 
can't stand to see all this destruction happen. I can't stand it. And I'm sure a lot of you can't stand to see all of this too. What are we going to do about it though? There's only so much we can do. That we can understand. But what we can do is bring awareness for Palestine. What we can do is make prayers for them. What we can do is help donate to them. Because they need us. They need us more than ever now. Palestine needs us. Now. Now is the time.